If you haven't heard the latest from XRP, well, you must have been living under a rock. Judge Torres really coming out, showcasing exactly where she stands on this case. Now, there has been some positive news in the price market. However, XRP and SEC, well, no one seems to win it, but there's definitely some momentum in the favor of XRP. We're going to break it down and all the good stuff in this video. Be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, I have partnered up with Mexi to bring you a fantastic trading fee competition. Link in the description, top pin comment. You could potentially walk away with $8,000 if you are one of the best traders out there. But with that being said, subscribe to the channel. Let's get into it. So from Bitcoinist, we got the Ripple versus SE case. Judge issues a ruling on the debut motions and here's who won. Now, to start off before you get into this video, this is not the outcome of the case. However, people are talking that it's coming. We actually have the interesting in bit of information from Judge Annalisa Torres. It states, it says, Judge Annalisa Torres has issued an initial ruling, but this is not the summary judgment ruling. Instead, the judge has issued a 57-page ruling on both party motions to exclude expert testimony from the summary judgment, the debate motions. At first glance, neither Ripple nor the SEC wins. The SEC's motions are granted in part and denied in part, and likewise, the same could be said for Ripple. But what does it ultimately mean? Well, it says, as Chamberlain explains, no clear winner or loser can be derived from this ruling which is kind of a win in the world of XRP. You've got to remember, at the minute, crypto is a dirty word. That's just reality. We're seeing the Fed go after it. We're seeing Gary Gensler go after it. 30 million out of crack and staking being clamped down on. So right now, crypto is vulnerable in terms of what the big people are trying to do. However, to be in a world where neither party wins is a positive in my direction. It says, this is who the SEC has hired to analyze the expectations of the XRP buyers, and that is Patrick Doody. And it says, XRP community attorney Jeremy Hogan commented on Twitter that the SEC must prove that investors has a reasonable expectation of profits from Impulse efforts for this duty was crucial. I don't know if that's a kind of play on words or if it's a joke, but it's certainly very interesting. But it says, as the judge just struck the SEC's only expert witness on the subject, so now how the heck can the SEC prove reasonable reliance? Who will testify just thinking out loud? So the key witness, the key statement that's going to be coming out that the SEC is absolutely banking on has been yeeted out of this case. And again, it says a couple of things that ultimately I think, and I've been talking about this now while I've been covering this case for the last number of months, that I think XRP win. I think it's a matter of time. I think it will be delayed by the SEC. Now, what does this ultimately mean? Well, this does mean it gives them an opportunity to settle out of court. That's my view of this. It's coming out. Judge Annalisa Torres, clear on where she stands, absolutely in the middle, however, not leaning one way or the other. But ultimately, what it does is allow them to go and make a decision, or if they need to, potentially even settle out of court. It says, uh, ZZ Crypto previously reported Ripple seems to be gaining the upper hand in the case thanks to new positive developments in court. However, should the SEC prevail in this case, there will be a very undesirable legal precedent for the entire crypto market. And I do genuinely think that will not be the case. So summary judgment is either coming out at any moment or Jay Torres is dropping the one first to cajole the parties into settlement at the last chance. And again, this is kind of the view that people are getting an opportunity or that she is giving the SEC an opportunity. It would be a huge egg on the face if the SEC were to leave uh, to lose this after battling and battling and battling. This could be an opportunity, a nod, if you will, to the SEC to say, look, here is where I stand with it. I'm not going to side with you. We've taken out your key star witness that ultimately is going to be able to proposition this as the fundamental reason that you believe it's a security. And actually, this is now an opportunity to do it. Well, the market's in a pit of sea of red. We did actually see a strong green candle on the day yesterday, all the way up to the 30, actually tested the, uh, the excuse me, the 50 day EMA at 38.45. We did pull back a little bit, but again, looks like XRP is wanting to start to move again up 0.10%. 38.04, we could even start to push up as people become more and more bullish on XRP. We'll see how this plays out. The Fed obviously coming in quite aggressively in terms of what they're going to do potentially with inflation rates. So time will tell. However, we could get the XRP settlement anytime. We could even get a court case outcome, which could be in the favor of XRP. But drop a comment down below. What do you think? XRP or SEC? Drop your comments. Let's see how many of you think which one is going to win. We'll keep you up to date with everything going on this. Follow me on my socials. All the links in the description. Check out that Mexi link to join the trading competition. $8,000 up for grabs. As ever, thank you so much for watching this video. Come on, XRP. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.